Hello everyone, welcome back to Madel's Kitchen. If you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you all for stopping by. Please, I want you to like, comment, share my video, and please don't forget to subscribe. Until you all, my old subscribers, I want to thank you all for subscribing into my channel and for liking my videos and for sharing my videos. Thank you all, God bless you. Hello guys, welcome back to Madel's Kitchen. Today's episode, I'm going to show you all our cooked potato leaves with a little bit of okra. Over there is my okra. I have four okra. That okra, they use lobby and salts to make it. And there is my okra. Yeah, guys, you sometimes you have to be careful when you buy some of the ingredients. You see the ogre, they use um, lubi to make it. You don't have to use lubi to make ogre. The only thing you use is salt. That's why sometimes when after eating some African food, you go use the bathroom more than two or three times. It's because of the stuff they put when they're making the product. See? Use lubi. And... Over there is my fish. I have two big guinea fish. You can use more than two fish if you have it. But for me, I'm using just two big ones. That is enough. And there is my peppers. You can use more than you can use more than that amount of peppers in my sink. My house would go like that much pepper. And there is my onion. And there is my two onion. I'm going to put them in the fridge so it gets cold. Over there is my potato leaves. I know most of you know how to cut potato leaves. But I promise for some of you that don't know, I'm going to make a video and show you all how I cut potato leaves. Okay, but I cut my potato leaves overnight. So I'm ready to cook. And in the sink, as you can see, I mean, in my pot, sorry, I have um, assorted meat. I have kanda, cow feet, and African fowl right there. I boiled them overnight too, so my cooking will be easy for me. Yeah, I have all those assorted meat. You can use whatever type of meat you want to use, but as for now, this is what I like or this is what my head said I should buy so I bought it and there is my palm oil I'm going to pour a little bit in I'm going to put everything in so they get boiled yeah I guess in case this happened to you please don't forget to take that off because it's rubber, you don't want to cook rubber, so don't forget to take it off. Yeah. Now wash my hand every. I wash my hand every second. As you can see in there, I use the water that I boil my meat with, I don't use no fresh water. After boiling my meat, I don't throw the water where I use it again. When you're boiling your meat, make sure you don't put too much water. You want your meat to steam, not to overcook. So don't put too much water, you see? I have just a little bit of water in my pot. That water, that's what I'm going to use to cook my potato leaves with. And as you can see, the water is not that much in there. Ignore me, I'm putting too much palm oil because of my palm oil is kind of frozen. It's not it's not coming out like how I want it. So that's why I'm putting a lot. You see, the water is not too much. And one thing in mind, when you're cooking potato leaf, you don't need that much water. If there's too much water, your potato leaf is going to be watery. So make sure you don't put water. Yeah, I forget. I cover my pot. I forget to put the ogre 
you put ogui palm oil and that see the water just a little bit that water is not even up to a cup make sure you put just a little bit of water when you're boiling your meat so you can use the water to cook your soup see everything is boiling look at my pepper and the onion everything boiled together so i'm gonna put it in i see the water is just too small and the palm oil everything it looks so good make sure you don't put too much water while cooking potato leaves if you put too much water trust me you're not gonna like the outcome of your potato leaves make sure you don't put too much water see all i can see is meat the water is not even that much the water was very small you cover it you give it a long time to boil like an hour okay that's why i say when you cook your meat don't put too much water and you let your meat steam because when you're going to cook your soup again you're going to have to let your meat cook when you're cooking this like when you're cooking your meat like this it make early the sauce this the sweetness go in the meat as you can see um this is the african mortar and pencil i'm blending my okra if you want you can use blenders for me right now i feel like doing it in the mortar is kind of easy for me so I'm doing it here. You can, if you have it, you can do it because I don't want my okra to be too, too, too blend. I want it half and half, like half blend, half not blend, like there. See, that's why I'm, I'm using the mortar to grind it, the mortar and pencil to grind it there. I don't want it too smooth, too blend. I want it half and half yeah yeah and now i'm back again see i'm mixing my soup it's still looking good the water is going down it's, it's drying a little by little again i don't want no water i want it to be dry make sure it's it boiled really good I cover it again. I give it like 20 minutes. Then now I'm putting my potato leaves. just like that you put all your potato leaves in just like that and there the okra is blended is blended and now i'm gonna put it see it's not too smooth it has just like it has some some blend some don't blend i like it just like that so now i'm putting that in as you can see the okra was small the potato leaf is plenty so this is how i want it and now that's my fish i'm gonna put everything on top i pluck my fish take all the bones out now i'm spreading everything on top you see the two onion i put it in the fridge you know sometimes when it slice onion the gas is too much but once you put your onion in the fridge trust me the gas is gonna be a little bit easy on your eyes your eyes is not gonna be burning trust me you have to do that method anytime you want to cook put two onion in the fridge when you're ready to you slice it you take it out and slice it as you can see i'm putting my paper my ball paper now my onion i've spread everything on top cover it leave it to steam see look at that tell me you don't like what you're saying you know that onion it gives your soup a beautiful smell when you slice onion it gives your soup beautiful smell you cover it like for 10 20 minutes 
then you open it see you can do other stuff when you cover it you do clean clean your kitchen then you come back to your soup see it was cooked in the middle now all you just have to do is turn it over place your spoon inside on the scrape on the all the one that have been sticking on the you turn it over you don't mix like how you mix ginger beer or any other soup you mix just like that go through in there yeah see how i'm doing it you go in and push it through see that's how it mix see and don't forget do not slime your soup spoon on the pot do not hit your soup spoon on the pot please guys don't do it it's not good most african people do that me i'm not even used to it see just like that you can you, you can you can slime it but you don't have to slime it on the pot you can just shake it on top you see just like that i'm always doing that i'm even used to it see look how the soup is looking it's looking so good the potato leaf is kind of greenish you see how little bit the soup is kind of slippery if you don't tell anybody that you use okra somebody will think that you use cream cream to cook your potato leaves everybody knows how how hard it is to see to find potato leaves so i mean um sorry not potato leaves everybody knows how hard it is to get um cream cream so if you don't have cream cream you can use okra as cream cream you see that palm oil is perfect this palm oil is the best cc has the best palm oil in town guys go to cc and buy your palm oil reduce your fire you don't want your soup to burn down see it looks so good and trust me if you follow this step ha huh, you're gonna have to best potato leaves trust me you're gonna be the best cook in town <laughs> you're gonna be the best cook in town your food is gonna be number one yes and guys yes this week i'm gonna be having christmas bonanza so if anybody want to try my food if you're in columbus please comment down below I'm going to make you come get a bowl of my delicious delicacy, okay? I, I promise I, I, you will come pick it up or I will deliver it for you. Just comment down below, okay, I want to be part of the Christmas Bonanza. Then I will, I will hit the up, I will send you a message right away. See, my potato leaf is looking so good, it's looking yummy. I even wanted to eat that that minute, but no, it was not done enough like how I wanted. So, mm, mm, mm. the smell, oh my goodness, my kitchen mm, will give you life at this minute. <laughs> you see, the water is not plenty, and the palm oil is not plenty. Everything is just perfect. Perfect, perfect. See? It's looking so good. I love it. I love it. Just mix it just like that. Just like that. Just like that. That's how you make soup just like that you just turn turn it over you just don't do zip, 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 like you mix in ginger beer or any other thing nope you don't do it like that look at the the palm oil mm, mm, mm. everything's steam the, the potato leaf is green the okra is not too much the, the the soup is not slippery that much it just have a little bit of that sliminess that's it is a perfect and best soup ever this is this is the best way to cook 
potato leaves. Potato leaves alone has water. It has too much water. So that's why when you cook it, you don't put that much water. Because if you put plenty of water, trust me, you're going to have water in soup. The soup is going to have water, plenty, plenty of water underneath. Nobody's going to like it. And yes, if you have that flat black beans, brambies, the flat big one that I usually cook, you can put it in. Ha! Ah, if you put that beans in this soup, mm -mm -mm, I don't want to think about it. See? The promote everything is up. Everything. See? I keep leave it. I keep give it 10 minutes, 10 minutes. I come look at it, mix. Then I come back at every 10 minutes and check my soup. Make sure I reduce the fire. It's not burning. All my meat are intact. Sometimes when you boil your meat too much, it broke when you cook it everything mass up you see all my meats they all standing because i don't boil them too much yes thank you guys thank you all for watching thank you all for stopping by tomato house kitchen we really appreciate you all and for my new subscriber please like comment share my video Thank you all. God bless you. And I promise I'm going to continue to upload any kind of recipe that I'm doing. I think the next video I'm going to post is going to be sour sour. Yeah. I'm going to make my sour sour video. I have it, but I've been too lazy to bake it. But I'm going to do the video soon so you guys know how to cook sour sour, okay? Thank you all for watching my video. God bless you and happy, happy new year in advance, okay? Love you all.